this is your A-Pass update for September 1st. We've got five updates for you this week. Number one, a big issue for APAS recently is the federal government's proposed 30% fertilizer emissions reduction target. APAS just sent in its submission to Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada yesterday on August 31st, and APAS also signed on to a joint submission with various Saskatchewan crop commissions. So you can read both of those documents by clicking on the links in the video description below. Number two, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada has just announced that the federal livestock tax deferral program has been opened up again for this year. But the problem is the area that's allowed to apply for the program right now is only the far southwest corner of Saskatchewan. And so APAS is going to be putting in a submission to Ag Canada asking for that area to be expanded. Number three, there are various programs under the Canadian Agricultural Partner whose deadlines are quickly approaching. And so the Provincial Ministry of Agriculture has information on all of those different programs and the deadlines available through their website. So a link to those resources is included in the video description below. Number four, we're still planning to hold APAS district meetings around the province after harvest is complete. So we'll send out more information on those meetings as the details are finalized. And number five, if you've got an RM Council meeting coming up and you want APAS update materials or if you'd like an APAS staff member or director to come to the meeting with you, let me know and we'll get it set up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.